Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. This is Clémence. I'm talking about fragrance and welcome. In today's video, I'm talking to you about compliments. We all want a bit of compliment. It's not the first factor why we wear fragrance. Well, I hope so, because otherwise it's a little bit sad. But the factor social and environment is really important. We want to get that compliment and we're going out with fragrance to uh, give certain emotion to other people. So with that in mind, today I'm showing you a list of some men's, some designer, some niche, some women's and you can pick and choose in there. I've done last year a video with compliments for women, compliments for men. And so today I want to do a bit of both and best of both for all in one thing. So voila. you were asking me is what is driven by compliment and this is totally subjective it's a big part of luck like when people say like this thing is getting compliments well you can only talk in a general basis you can't predict the reaction of this and that people i remember i had that um, discussion with one uh, fragrance youtuber french fragrance youtuber olivier parfumerie olivier if you're here hello we were saying that usually the best compliment getter for us was fragrances that are designer very simple but very efficient usually quite projecting they're fresh and that was quite funny i think he said like for him that was ysl why i really like that and uh, for me i was saying burberry london 100 percent like uh so i won't talk about it because i'm just talking about it there but it's usually been one of my uh, compliment getter easy to wear uh fragrance for women today i'm showing you a bit of more i've included some niche because i thought it would be nice you know usually the compliment getter are the ones that are quite strong projecting things like that sometimes with niche because they're too unique and too much projector and that's why everyone with that beast mode it's not the be because it's beast mode that you're gonna get compliments like it can be like maybe sometimes too much and what we've seen is like sometimes fragrance that are more general or more easy to wear uh, and not as tough and strong are usually getting more the first fragrance I want to talk about is a fragrance I'm really well used to I'm talking about it a lot but one of his versions that I'm never talking about in my channel which is Jerome and no 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 it's not the intense it's the parfum it's a bit more leathery than the uh, intense but it's not usually my favorite is the intense I think it's like a bit more delicate but we're talking about compliments and I think this one because of the leathery aspect it's like a more masculine tone even more and is really like really long lasting and really project a lot onto people but at the same time um, it's not like a skanky leather it's not also something that smells really deep and dark it's got this flower note which is the iris they really give like something like kind of easy to reach and i think people in general really really enjoy that at least as a lady, I don't know any other ladies that disliked Durham. That's, that's why sometimes like men are like, no, I want a really masculine fragrance. I don't want flower in there, but they don't realize that this is that touch of flower that usually make ladies melt. <laughs> I'm not too sure you can see me clearly. Viva la Juicy uh, Gold Couture. So for some people, it like smell quite cheap and it's not like really refined. Okay, it's definitely not my luxurious, luxurious fragrance. 100%. I actually didn't realize until he said to me, for example, that this fragrance, like for on a woman, is just incredible and really captivating. And it's not the first time that a lot of men are telling me that it's really attractive. It's mainly like a caramel scent, so very sugary. But that is definitely something to get attention, to get your eyes on. It's cheap and you are making a good investment. You're not too sure what you wear, you want to smell sexy, sweet and ultra feminine and impress the men and have those really lovely compliments. Highly recommend to try. Next one is a niche fragrance for men, for women, I think for both definitely. Like it does have a little bit of that feminine tone at the start, but then after it dried out to something 
a more woody and masculine and this is Inicio side effect. Big struggle, I wanted to choose Inicio because I think for me this fragrance because of the powdery aspect and it's like a projection of dust this but in a good way. The sillage it gives it's just incredible and that's in general with Inicio like I was fascinated by their fragrance because they are so mystic mysterious so usually really good compliment getter i'm thinking of atomic rose i gifted that to my friend she smells amazing now uh, she was smelling good before <laughs> i've got rehab rehab for daytime is oh my god i've been complimented so much with this one wood for greatness but wood for greatness can have like you know it's so dark and so uh, sexy at the same time that sometimes can people be repulsed by Wood for Greatness, so I wanted to add side effect. So this rum vanilla touch, I absolutely love it because it gives that oriental warm tone uh, with uh, something ultra uh, sexy. A bit of that tobacco cinnamon, so it's spicy, but really like it's a bomb, like you smell that. For me, I was really smelling the vanilla cinnamon mix. A bomb-like, vanilla-like fragrance or really uh, something that stands out. So that won't be something that I would wear for the daytime, maybe with winter, but like during this season, that would be more like an evening date scent or date, maybe wait the third date to give that, like it give like for me a different message, if you see what I mean. Number five is one of my top favorite uh, sexy fragrance for men that I've talked quite a lot in that kind of subject and it's Penaligans Halfetti. Uh, why I've put it in the compliment getter because I don't know if you notice when you pass by Panelligan store, like they have a little diffuser so you can smell the fragrance from very far away. Well, this is really what you smell on people, like you can recognize the scent, it's like oriental, but got something like very uh, deep, dark, without being too unique, you know, too, too strange. And I think it's a really easy uh, house to get a lot of compliments if you're talking about niche and Alfetti what I love is it's got that very cypress like so it's nearly like a barbershop with something kind of woody and dark at the background so you've got different choice you've got the cedar one you've got the leather one but honestly I prefer the classic I think the classic you can't make any mistake and because it doesn't have that really specific uh, woody or leather tone it's really something that is more approachable so people will give you a uh, compliment i took a lot with my hands today love it like a hot that is quite rosy as well so it gives like something a bit more romantic and i think it's nice to have this kind of balance with all of that notes so yeah hey me again um so another compliment getter that i had actually like recently and you know how much i love it but i can't stop talking about it sorry it's naxos sergeuf so what i love is this fragrance is really like vanilla tobacco smell and it's interesting because at the start you've got this lemon touch that is slightly there so it's slightly fizzy at the start so I would say it's something that you can definitely wear uh, during winter and also during summer because of that lemon touch but it's, it's strong you know you don't need a lot with this one and again it's something like quite powdery so that's why I'm saying like compliment get up to the max every time I wore it again I had like lovely compliment honey smell as well but not a sticky honey tobacco is there but it's not like a strong tobacco like you can't smell the small quilly it's like a cashmere hoodie it's like a you know a cashmere scarf like it's so soft nearly like a velvety fragrance and that for me like so beautiful and it's a fragrance that is more for men but personally i would wear it definitely reflection refle <laughs> reflection man i'm wash oh my god this absolutely stunner like okay like this is more a flowery on men but once you've tried men don't be scared this is just a stunner compliment getter of course it's projecting it's kind of like a white kind of spirit sandalwood is creamy a touch of vetiver but not too green and you get this all white floral and usually that's a compliment getter ingredient for me Oris, well iris. Oris is basically the root of the flower of iris. We dry it down, crush it into a powder, an oil and in the fragrance. Voilà, <laughs> really uh, quickly explained but yeah, that's how it works. And oris is that powdery tone, like it's a powder to your nose and powdery smell diffuse and gives like a massive sillage and this is what reflection mind give also got that very sunny tone like it's like something that when you smell it it's 
kind of more happy than the other scent of Amouache to my sense. And because of that projection, this happiness, <laughs> freshness, and those flowers that are very in common, definitely a compliment getter. And when I smell it around me, I just, you know, it's oh, absolutely stunning. On is no line, okay, you're gonna hate me for that because I'm talking too much since I opened my channel about this fragrance, but what can I say? If I start to talk about compliment, I have to talk about my best compliment getter, like that would be horrendous if I'm not talking about it, even though I'm not talking about Burberry London, but whatever. Uh, Mail Ragis, Scherzo, Scherzo, I think you said. But if you never try this, like this is um, a wood fragrance, quite fruity, sweet, fruity wood. So kind of lean it more to feminine. But honestly, like I've seen a lot of, especially Middle Eastern um, people or people a bit like with that oriental background, like really, really love those scent on them. They really don't mind the flowers, which absolutely adore with them. It's so nice. But it's like something that you smell a lot. Like it's not discreet, it's not shy. Compared to all the ones I talk maybe with Inisho, it's loud, it's strong. Like you overspray, you kill everyone around. <laughs> <laughs> I do a spray, I really love it. Every time I've smelled, I've tried, uh, I was wearing this fragrance, I got hundreds of compliments. I don't know what's it with this fragrance, but honestly. And the most funny thing is like every time I wore it, and I'm not joking, every time I wore it, someone around me all did a compliment to me, all bought this fragrance after. When someone buy your fragrance, you know, you know, <laughs> my rack like i don't know if you call it like that uh you know like to hold the clothes do you remember in the last video it was like completely falling down well uh this is it it's back but i'm really sad because i've put it this upper <laughs> before merlin and it, it won't go up than this now because uh it's broken so i need to buy a new one but i'm just like oh it's annoying because usually my jacket were going on top so now it's a bit more difficult to get in there and to get a jacket but anyway compliment getter for men Mont Blanc Explorer this one it's like what I was saying in the video before it's super easy to wear it's beautiful on men it's got that pineapple kind of vibe so it's extra fresh it's got ambroxone and ambroxone is definitely one of the most compliment getter ingredient because it's projecting uplift the fragrance like take the ingredient and you throw them away to the face of people that's a good image come on like i was surprised because it's definitely not usually the smell i'm used to that i really like i would i usually say nothing special you know with the smell it smells like shower gel like but a really nice shower gel <laughs> It's beautiful, it's just fresh and it's got that tropical vibe, especially like for, uh, you know, this summer. I feel for office and if you're working, it's absolutely stunning. In your collection, you need some good designer that you know you can relate on and this is definitely what you can do with this one. Highly recommend. My favorite compliment get uh, lots of experience with it and it's a Coco uh, from Chanel. This one, girls, men, don't care spicy orange so spicy when I say spicy I talk about like something like cinnamon you know those kind of vibe and then dry down to those like rose jasmine flowers and this trail that is more woody but very delicate woody though like you can really smell the spices and this bright orange so it's quite bright it's got that very vintage aspect as well like it smells like something that you did you can't smell that nowadays and this is what i love with it stream like when i wear that i want to wear like padded shoulders i want to you know like the extravagant you know the, the full set uh, but all in a chanel way very classy i remember i was in a bar like when the bar were open and i was just i was on a date i think i told you that story before because it's quite it's really funny <laughs> like i was on a date not a very important date, sorry, mister. And this guy just came close to me, like the, the bartender was like, what's your fragrance? You smell so nice. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> that was this one. Bartenders love it because like, I can't remember <laughs> what I'm saying. I remember also another experience in a bar, like got complimented by a few bartenders. I think Coco Chanel for bartenders is amazing. <laughs> And then there's going to be bartenders looking at this video and be like, what? <laughs> like I'm missing social life, you can tell. 
you go, that's it. I wish you all a lovely day. I will see you guys very, very soon. And please tell me in the comments, what are your favorite compliment getters? What are the ones that stand out in with your environment? I'm happy to see that. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a little like. I know you guys are mainly like all went uh, after I said this is the end of the video, but please stay. Um, and uh, I want to thank everyone that goes to my YouTube account in the description box to give me a little contribution. It's really helpful. I'm keeping that money to buy some materials. So uh, in advance for uh, the future quality of the video, many thanks. And I will see you soon. Bye now.